Okay, honey, I hope you can hear me. I wanted to do a video for you and uh, just kind of show you around. This is the Belltown area. Can you see it? So I was really hesitant about showing you around the neighborhood for quite a while because of the pandemic. But I want to show you a little bit around Seattle areas where you used to walk with me when you were a little kid and hopefully we'll make it as far as the Pike Place Market. You know this whole area was originally built on a cliff right? I don't know if you remember learning any of that in school and a lot has changed over the years since you've been here. I don't know. I kind of like the old school way. That area of Belltown is where a lot of the grunge bands collaborated. And a lot of artists and band members still collaborate there. With the pandemic and all, it's hard because, you know, people aren't able to work. They find ways, I suppose, through social media. But it's really put everything on a stand standstill, so to speak. So let me cross over here. Can you see the view out there of Puget Sound? Isn't it beautiful? I'm going to try and get you a better view. So here we go. I was just at my best friend Angelica's house, well, her apartment. It feels like a home though. Do you remember me sending you photos of her and I? Last year around this time, we went to Leavingworth, Washington on that tour of Germantown. <laughs> Leavingworth is an awesome place. It's a great place, especially around the holidays because they have all the ornaments decorated and the bands and stuff. You know I love the accordion playing. They had plenty of that there. But Angel, she's been ill. She got tested, but it came up negative. So I just brought her some soup and electrolyte drinks and things and some tea to help her out a bit because she had to call out sick for the past couple days. She says that she's feeling a little bit better. So here we're getting real close. There was a store here before it became a cost plus up here that you and I used to go to when you were little, a Pier 1 import store. Let me show you the sign. We used to walk around here all the time, back in the day when you were little, especially commuting to the south end in the suburbs where we lived. And I used to go to school years ago nearby here. I'm going to show you another view of the water. They're doing a lot of construction lately and they're trying to rebuild. As you can see. Let's see how close. I think we're getting closer to the marketplace. My phone's a little shaky but I don't care. I have class later on here in less than an hour, so after this tour I'm going to head up to 3rd Avenue over in the uptown area near the Space Needle near my job is where the gentleman is who's teaching me. And I'm really happy to be learning more. We'll see how far I can go. So, here's a touristy building here. 
for the marketplace. On another day, probably in the mornings, when I'm done with the work, I'll make more of these for you. I'll go to different places of interest and show you around. Tombo might like this too. I hope you're doing well at work. Let's get a little closer here. Do you see the totem? Okay, and the sculpture of the fins. This is one of the main little parks outside the market. And here's Puget Sound. The sun is setting. Isn't it beautiful? And to see the ferry coming by. And there's the wheel. Isn't it nice? A few years ago, Francis and I actually took a trip on a ferry. I believe it was smaller than this one here, but we went over to Victoria on the Clipper. That was really amazing. One of the best trips I've ever taken. Here we go. Actually, I'm gonna climb up and cut across the grass. And all the pigeons and seagulls, when you were really little, you used to chase them. Give it a minute. Okay. So here we are. The Pike Place Market. I'm gonna cross carefully, cross the cobblestone. And they're trying to open up the shops. They had to shut it down a few months ago. Off and on, there was just too much looting. And every time the shop owners and workers would try and build it up again, it just seemed like, you know, more danger, more looting. But they're trying really hard to keep things going. So, this here is a little bakery. I don't know if you remember it. It's been around forever. Once in a blue moon, when the weather was really nice, we would stop by here and get ice cream. And here we go, the original Starbucks. To this day, I still feel like their coffee tastes burnt. <laughs> but that was one of their tricks when they began the company. I think it was an accident. That's what I heard. And then the guy decided, well, we're gonna market this. So here we are the marketplace
let's see. Here's a French bakery here. Very well known, been around forever. And there's a Christmas tree for you. Merry Christmas, Bushka. Merry Christmas, Tombo. I'm gonna give you one more gift. And then I'm gonna let you go. I'll show you more in the future, okay? Merry Christmas, I love you.